guys, welcome to my first Chelsea Football Club news video. Welcome to the Canaries Blue Chelsea FC. Okay, for those who don't know me, I am Gino, and uh, that is my short name, of course. It's very easy to call me that way. And uh, as you may guess, I'm Italian, okay? Being Italian has never stopped me from supporting the team I love most, which is, of course, Chelsea Football Club. In uh, my videos, I'll be discussing about uh, Chelsea Football Club performance, whatever is collective or individual, I will be talking about uh, transfer news, uh, whatever they are, gossip or real. I will be talking about tactics, Chelsea football tactics, Chelsea football club tactics. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, I will be giving my honest opinion in all the matters with Chelsea football club. Now, before I get down to business immediately, please, would you kindly uh, subscribe for the next video and click the like button for me. Thank you. Okay, uh, I would like um, in this first video to um, uh, talk about three issues that I believe, I personally believe, are the cause of uh, uh, Chelsea struggle right now. You may say, well, we are not really struggle as much as we did. That is true. But we still find ourselves sitting ninth in the Premier League, and this is what Chelsea Football Club doesn't want to. We are uh, luckily somehow, we luckily in a good way, I'm actually pleased about that, managed to reach the uh, Charity Shield final where we'll be playing uh, uh, Liverpool at Wembley uh, very soon, uh, middle of February, I believe so, okay? Now, we're going to win there, I don't know. Hopefully, we will do that. But remember, we'll be playing Liverpool anyway. But it's a, an achievement. We have improved. Uh, we're still uh, uh, playing for the FA Cup. Uh, where um, on the 2nd of February we'll meet again Aston Villa at Villa Park. With a bit of luck, we may get through the next round. Uh, but as I, as I mentioned earlier, we're sitting ninth in the uh, Premier League table, which is not good at all anyway. It's only a uh, free uh, position behind the way we finished last season. Uh, in the Premier League, anyway. But now uh, let's focus on um, on uh, the those issues I was mentioning. Let's start with the first issue. First issue is the uh, credibility of the manager we have right now. Okay, uh, we all. Uh, talk about the owner's fault of uh, in the process of uh, rebuilding the prestige of a football club and the way uh, those owners that took over from Abramovich, uh, Todd Bolly and uh, the corner Ekbali in a naive way have uh, uh, bizarrely um, hired Graham Potter I used to call him a Harry Potter anyway and uh, no winning manager at all because he didn't win anything at all the way they trusted him, it was wrong. And also, uh, in a naive way, they've actually hired uh, Pochettino, which uh, on uh, CV, on the curriculum vitae, has got much more to show. He did win in Paris with Paris Saint-Germain, but you tell me who would win with Paris Saint-Germain as manager? I mean, any lower manager or any, um, you know, second-hand manager, I would say, managed to win with Paris Saint-Germain in France, anyway. 
but uh, uh, now let's talk about uh, uh, the credibility of the manager do I believe or is there a chance where next year Maurizio Pochettino will bring a success or will make us getting close to the first or second spot in the Premier League I am I doubt about because if you look at this curriculum video, which I was actually mentioning, especially when he managed Tottenham, uh, he, I mean, if you checked what he won there, he didn't really win anything. I mean, he did manage to uh, get to the final of the Champions League in 2015, somehow, but he didn't win the final. And he also managed, I believe, to uh, get to a Charity Shield final. But let's remember, guys, Charity Shield is, is a competition, but it's not considered as important as the FA Cup or the Champions League or the Premier League. We all know this anyway. Now, um, from this first issue, I want to quickly jump to the second issue. By the way, uh, apology for my Italian accent, I'll try to be as clear as I can possibly be and explain the point uh, in a very uh, clear way, anyway. Now let's talk about the second issue uh, I mentioned earlier. The second issue that concerned me, and uh, this is going on for a while now, is uh, Injury problems that a Chelsea Football Club has got right now and before. Already from pre-season we had this problem. And I, again, um, I should blame Pochettino for this. Uh, because of the, I believe, the training system he uses are uh, tough and strict extreme, I would say, and uh, um, when you overload uh, a football player with uh, so much uh, uh, extreme fatigue, then any athlete, any football player will end up to get injured sooner or later. And this is happening to Chelsea right now. And what convinced me uh, of this even more is the fact that uh, it's not just injury, it's injuries, it's continuous injuries setback. That will make me think that behind this, uh, there is a, a Pochettino training system. The reason of this, I would say. Uh, now, if I mention Harold Lennon uh, in, a, in an interview, he suggested the same thing. And he said that uh, the very first, uh, the, the first two years where Pochettino was manager at Tottenham Spurs, they had some problem. And he actually has criticized, has criticized Maurizio, Maurizio Pochettino training methods. And he, he was one of his players. He's one of his players, ex player that actually saying this. Now, uh, finally, the third issue I would like to talk about and the third issue I would like to talk about is overspending. This is not Pochettino's fault, but this is the board uh, fault, it's the owner's fault. I think we overspend in players, and uh, ironically, I would say, we waste millions, millions and millions. And this is a shame because we some of those money we could try to rebuild those money wasted i mean we could try we can try to rebuild Stamford bridge we all know that chelsea football club deserve a better stadium there has always been a plan a project that went ahead uh, and, but nothing has ever been um, going through really and uh, all uh, it's all it's all a dream there so but all us 
Chelsea supporter and all the Chelsea supporters, of course, are all dreaming to, to eventually have a, a beautiful stadium, a new stadium, with a more uh, seating capacity, and at least 20,000 more. I think uh, Chelsea Football Club deserves a 60,000 seating stadium, better than 40,000, I would say. At once, 40,000, I believe, for some pitch, anyway. But um, what concerns me most is the wrong way uh, they uh, spend the money. Uh, so uh, sometimes they buy the wrong players and they spend a lot of money for those players. Let me give you an example. The most recent one and the next possible one. Two scenarios I will give you to make you realize that here uh, Chelsea Football Club is rushing in buying players. I know we are all excited sometimes, or oh, we need a striker, we need a left back, or we need a new midfielder. I think we should think two times before we buy and we spend our money anyway. So I'll give you the uh, scenario of uh, Romelo Lukaku. Uh, we paid 100 million for him, and now look at that. Tell me a club, apart from the Arabs, that will want to buy Roman Lukaku right now. You tell me. Is there any other team that will want to buy a gamble in buy Roman Lukaku? I don't think so, anyway. Let's get now to the possibility of hiring a buying Victor Rosiman. Guys, come on. This is silly now. This is silly. From my personal point of view, I think this will be a massive gamble. Why? First of all, this is a striker that uh, has played, uh, succeed well in Serie A, but remember, Serie A is no Premier League, okay? It's uh, a less agonistic uh, football league, okay? You cannot compare the Serie A with the Premier League, all right? That's for sure. And uh, look at the physicality of um, um, uh, Victor Osimhen. Uh, it's quite wobbling. Is not really, he hasn't got that physical stamina to um, fight, I would say, ironically, against a Premier League defender. Because I will tell you, as soon as he tried to pass a Premier League defender, he'll be on, on a pitch, on the floor, on the ground, just like this. On top of that, he's got this uh, injury problem, which is a permanent injury problem, where he has to wear this mask, protective mask. Uh, because he's got some screw in his mandible, for that reason now he has to wear forever, every time he plays this, this protective mask. Do you reckon that a player like Ozyman, knowing the Premier League status, will try to um, tackle or will try to fight a defender uh, in an aerial contrast to uh, risk to to have another injury? I don't think. I think once he, he leaves his 120 million pound contract, that's it. It'll be the end. So I would rather pay a player less and make sure that those players will give much more on a pitch. How many times has happened in a Chelsea history that a non player, so not really well paid player, like we played for pennies? became all of a sudden superstar. And please, let's try to invest in our academy footballers. Look at Jill Christ. Jill Christ, Jill Christ, uh, the, 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 the center back we have, center back, left back, whatever they want to play. But he's a product of our academy. He's fantastic. The lad is dying for the badge. He will die for it. He loves Chelsea. And that's the main thing. The main thing is to make sure that all of those players play for the club. The club they love. Drogba used to love the club. And you cannot compare this Victor Osimhen with Drogba. Because Drogba, first of all, was a colossus. He could stand with any defender, play, Premier League defender, he could just pass them just like this. Because he was, he was a colossus, he was dynamite. He was one of the best strikers that Chelsea ever had. We all know that. 
So please, guys, uh, I will tell Todd Bolly before you buy, uh, uh, invest another 120 million in buying a player that it may be a, the biggest gamble ever. Think two times. We have two more victors to buy. Funny enough, ironically, we have a Victor Boniface, which is uh, most probably unknown, but he's not. He's a very good striker. Is a, a Borussia Leverkusen striker, yes. And we have also a Victor uh, Grosheres, I think is this way you, you spell Victor Grosheres, which is a striker of Sporting Lisbon. I think those two other options are better suited for Chelsea Football Club right now. Okay, guys, what can I say more? Um, uh, I will see for today the soul for today. I will see you in the next and uh, the next time. The next video please don't forget to subscribe for a new video uh, click the like button and leave a comment please if you can and uh, uh, I will see you next time next video of uh, the color is blue Chelsea FC uh, and uh, don't forget there is only one team Chelsea Football Club that is all for me today bye bye